If you are a teacher or an administrator who plays any kind of role in your school, of course, it matters not just to understand what you think differentiation might be, but to understand what your colleagues think it is. I've worked in more than one school, unfortunately, where leaders were saying to teachers, you've got to differentiate instruction, you've got to differentiate instruction. And if you ask any of the teachers, they'd say, we're doing it. And if the leader had gone in to look in the classroom, they perhaps would not have seen differentiation. And then they would have said, you've got to do this, you've got to do this. And the teachers would have kept saying, we're already doing it, we're already doing it. And if you stop and ask, what's often the case is that teachers are differentiating by their definition, and leaders may be pushing for something that matches their definition, but nobody ever took the time to ask each other what they thought that meant. And having that common definition is hugely important. Adam's four steps we could practice if we all taught for 100 years and still get better at them. If differentiation is a cute little strategy you use, it's a very different thing than if you're trying to accomplish those four goals. So I want to look now for just a minute at Adam's four parts of differentiation. Again, just to give you either some affirmation or some stretching with what you think the topic might mean. One of the things that I have come to believe more and more over the years as I've had the privilege of being in teachers' classrooms is that the root system of success in school is actually something that at least in my 21 years of teaching experience we almost never talked about. And that is how the teacher feels about kids. There is so much that arises from that, so much potential, and so often the lid gets put on because of that. So my sense is that quality differentiation and quality teaching begin with a teacher's mindset about kids and learning, which then enables us either to connect well or stops us from connecting well with kids, which then enables us either to build a good solid team like community in a classroom or keeps us from doing that.